New at five, there's a warning for pet owners. Our dogs and cats may be boosting the rates of superbug infections by spreading antibiotic resistant strains. That's what a study out of the Royal Veterinary College has found. What does it mean for those like our Christina Gonzalez, who is probably an expert on those dog kisses? I, I've got a problem with this story. Uh, Christina, live in Redondo Beach with some in your face interviews, Christina. You know, and in the interest of disclosure, I share kisses and much bacteria with my dogs, the cats, the horses, even the cockatiel at the nail salon is taken to kissing me. And I'm not alone. All these people here say they do the same. But some of that bacteria is coming up with serious antibiotic problems, resistances, and it's something people do need to know. Listen. Oh, those dog kisses. Dogs give you unconditional love. Um, and possibly more, according to doctors sinking more than their teeth into a new study about dogs, cats, and their owners finding that the germs they're sharing are getting stronger. There are some pet owners who will have the same antibiotic resistance in their feces that their pets have. We'll spare you the details like the numbers and the visuals of the study because yes, they did test the fecal matter of dogs, cats, and their owners. Here's what they found. There are certain antibiotic resistant bacteria like E. coli and those were found in the stool of the animals, dogs mainly, but also in their pet owners. Oh, I hadn't heard that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's all interesting, but yeah, I don't know. Hey, it's really hard not to accept a, a lick from your, from your little furry friend, right? But think about the hygiene there. They like to lick in places where the feces comes, and then they're licking you right afterwards. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe the cheek. Maybe just the cheek moving forward. The word and the germs definitely spreading quickly around this Redondo Beach dog park. I've seen her, like, chew on her own poop sometimes. I didn't let her to begin with. How many dogs do you have? Eight. So you should be glowing from the bacteria. Oh, I'm glowing. There will always be those studies, but I am going to continue to treat my dogs how I like to treat my dogs. What do you think of that? Oh, okay. All right. No comment. No comment? What? You're going to stop licking? Ah, no comment. What do you think of the study? Oh, you, you don't like that study result. You don't care. Okay. All right. He says, I'm not going to touch your microphone. It's got germs. <laughs> Who knows what's in the microphone, right? Now, obviously, that was not a scientific poll, but something serious to keep in mind. When you or your animal is given antibiotics, you need, just like for humans, animals, you need to give them the whole thing, even if they feel better, because they can become resistant to them. That's one thing to remember out of this. And don't let them kiss somebody in your family that may be an elderly person or someone with an immune disorder. So I'm Christina Gonzalez, live in Redondo Beach. Back to you in the studio. You took those cases, even though you've been forewarned, Christina. Right? I mean, my big takeaway is that everybody wants to kiss Christina. <laughs> Every species, everybody. <laughs> Please. <Yeah. laughs> All right. Thank you so much.